what's up fundraising family it has been like a hot second since i put out a video and i know that vlogmas started like four days ago but i'm gonna try it this year i've been thinking about it for four years if you don't know what vlogmas is it's one video a day for the whole month of december i'm not christian so i'm gonna call it vlogmica vlogmas whatever i don't care it's a non-religious thing it's a youtube thing and as you can see today i'm in my home gym and I'm gonna show you my auctioneer workout. It is freezing cold, I have on like eight sweatshirts. I do this workout, it's a quick 30 minute workout. I do this workout during auction season so that I can stay fit, healthy, ready, and a lot of it has to do with vocalizations while I work out. Uh, I'm gonna turn the sound off and do a voiceover, so you're gonna hear that kick in, but this is my auctioneer workout. Okay, so the first thing I do is I pop on the treadmill. Uh, I warm up, I swing my arms around. I just kind of get my body warmed up and I'm just kind of getting the blood moving. And now you can see my lips are moving. I'm doing what I call counting. I'm going through my numbers. So I'm going 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, all the way up as far as I can go. And then I go with 200s and then 300s and 400s, 500s. It's about breath for me. It's about practicing my numbers, gives me something to do. And uh, it really helps me practice my auctioneering. Now I get it a little bit of a run. I'm running for about five to eight minutes here. I'm not a great runner. Don't make fun of me. And I'm also talking and counting uh, when I'm running. Next, I pop over to the leg press. I love the leg press. I wear a lot of pants. I like to keep my legs strong. I run around during auctions. So I do 15 of these, and you'll see how I do them. I'm going to speed them up for you right here. Don't actually do them this speed. But this whole time, I'm really concentrating on my breathing as well as counting. So again, I'm doing my counting. My auctioneer workout is all about breath and using breath while I am exerting myself. Next up, I head over to the Smith machine. I love this machine so much. These are straight leg deadlifts, kind of straight. I do these not this fast, obviously. These are about building strength in my back and my core and my legs and my glutes. I really love this exercise. You'll see me do it a lot. It's one of my favorites. After having three kids, my stomach always needs work. So here I am doing some of my favorite ab exercises. I do these in three sets. This is just one set, lifting my legs up and down. And then you're going to see me do some flutter kicks as well. Next up, I'm grabbing some 10-pound dumbbells and doing some, whatever these are called, tricep kickbacks, uh, keeping the arms toned. Again, sometimes I wear dresses, sometimes I wear sleeveless, doesn't really matter. But I do these 12 to 15 on each side, and then I switch arms. Then I grab a 20-pound medicine ball, do some more ab work. Again, after three kids, you cannot do too many ab exercises. So I pop out a few of these. And then it's back to the Smith machine. Sometimes I squat, sometimes I do deadlifts. These are just full body exercises for me. This time I'm really concentrating on my breath. Sometimes I hold my breath. Sometimes I just breathe out a lot, which mimics the sounds of talking. And uh, that's my workout. And then I repeat it back three times, minus the treadmill. So that was my little workout. I do that three times. That's kind of my sets. I do treadmill, leg press, deadlift, abs, etc. Let me turn off my phone. Uh, I repeat it three times. As you saw on the treadmill, it's a lot of breathing, a lot of talking while exerting myself. And that's because that is part of my job as an auctioneer. Running around, getting excited. How do I keep my breath and my voice sounding good while I am sweating, dying inside? As you can hear, I'm already out of breath. I push myself. It's only for 30 minutes. Try it. Even if you're not an auctioneer, you should try it. All right, that's it. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching.